Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm today a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to continue with the Allie Finkel series uh, by May Cabot. So this is Allie Finkel's Rules for Girls. This is book three, um, titled Best Friends and Drama Queens. So we have kind of figured out a little bit more of where the heck Allie Finkel is taking place and when it is taking place. So we're in Maine, though I think you find out that in the next book, which is uh, Stage Fright. We'll get to that. Um, but it's cold, and this is after winter break. So essentially, she would have changed school in the middle of the fall semester. So this is kind of an interesting story. So they're coming back from winter break. Most of her friends had gone off to visit grandparents, to go skiing, to go somewhere else. And she was home with family. And they get back to school, and there's going to be a new girl. And the, um, the teacher decides to move Allie in the back with Rosemary, who, yes, she is friends with. This is the girl who was threatening to beat her up, and now they're friends. She's Rosemary's still kind of boyish, but she's still friends with them. So, And it does turn out this is not a punishment for Allie. They realize, no, she's back there to help with the boys, because the boys are the ruckish boys, same as Rosemary, because the teacher trusts them. And so they bring in this new girl, um, Dominique. Yes, I believe that's her name. Let me bring up the name. Uh, Cheyenne, sorry. Um, Cheyenne is from Canada. Cheyenne is put by Erica in Allie's old seat. Cheyenne is a spoiled brat. Now, remember, these are nine-year-olds. And at least in my experience, I didn't really start really being interested in boys till about 10 or 11. So these are nine-year-olds. They're in the fourth grade. They are not supposed to be interested in boys yet. Boys are most certainly not interested in them yet. Allie and her friends are not interested in boys yet. Perfectly normal. They're nine. However, Cheyenne, who's down here with her family because her father, they're renting a house because her father is writing a book. He's on sabbatical. She is a spoiled little brat. She makes up this game to chase the boys and kiss them. And she calls Allie and her friends babies because they do not want to be part of this. Well, and then some of the boys like this, some of the boys don't. Most of them don't. Rosemary gets pissed off because this group of girls led by Cheyenne interrupts her kickball games because they randomly get together and pick a boy to chase and kiss on the playground. Nine-year-old. Um, and so basically Allie does not, Allie and her friends aren't particularly fond of Cheyenne. This continues. Um into the next book. We get more into that in stage fright. But yeah, it, it, it becomes very, it, it, it's kind of interesting in how they're, the boys are not particularly happy. One of them really wants her, wants to be kissed, but nobody chases him. Cheyenne is obsessed with things. Then she starts insisting people start dating, being boyfriend and girlfriend. What the heck this means? And ninth graders, or not ninth graders, Fourth graders, I have no clue, and it's not really specified what this means. Allie doesn't know what the heck's going on. But she finally hooks up, Cheyenne finally hooks up everyone except for Allie. And Allie is like, no, I am not playing this. I am not doing this. And Cheyenne's like, fine, go tell the boy. And she does. It's like, I like you as a friend. I don't want to date you. I doubt, I don't want to be boyfriend, girlfriend with you. And yeah, Cheyenne's not happy. Now, Allie eventually spills the beans to her parents. So she begs her mother not to call their teacher. The next day, their teacher is pissed off. She's gotten calls. Now, Cheyenne originally blames Allie. Like, the kissing games, like, do not do it. Nobody is boyfriend or girlfriend. You are nine years old. You are children. You have enough time to date when you're older. Right now, you are children. And I'm going to insist you act like children. 
That is how pissed. That's pretty much what her teacher, her teacher says. She is pissed. And because she got a call from mothers, from parents. Now, first, she blames Allie. Now, Allie's like, no. Like, and, but it turns out that a lot of parents found out about this. And a lot of parents were royally pissed off. <laughs> They're like, they all called her. It's like, no, 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 no. These are nine-year-olds. Knock this off. So Cheyenne basically is kind of put in her place. Um, and she is not happy about this. But there is really nothing she can do about it. So that's really primarily the the gist of this story of what's going on. Of uh, You have Cheyenne who's kind of trying to be older than she is, essentially, because she's, she's nine. Most of the, the teacher says, like, you're nine. Most of you aren't ten yet. Knock this off. And a lot of the, kids, the parents find out, and they're pissed off. So this is right after winter break. Um, so it, it's, it, it's interesting. You see this dynamic of this new girl coming in who's very, very snobbish and essentially is telling Allie and her friends that they're immature, for the uh, princesses and queens game that they play, because it's it's imaginary, and we're above that. You're almost 10 years old. I was still holding my doll around. Kirsten, you see her in the background, at 10 years old. Um, but it was certainly at 9, because I got her when I was 8. So it's, it is very interesting, and seeing this new girl who's, um, where is she from? I'm trying to think. Ontario. She's from Toronto. She's very, very snobbish. And she's, her family is wealthy. She makes fun of Allie and her friends. And she basically becomes the most popular girl in their class. Because again, she's not really being able to interact with the rest of the fourth, because there's two fourth grade classes. And I don't think they're really interacting with, you don't really see much interaction between the two fourth grade classes. Occasionally there are fifth graders that pop up when they're, the girls are walking up on their way to school, but their main interest is Allie's little brother who dresses like a pirate. He's in kindergarten. He's allowed to dress like a pirate. They think he's cute because, again, he's a kindergartner who's dressed up like a pirate, and they just think he's adorable. And Allie, that kind of that's the only, that's really the only what you do. Even the fifth graders aren't impressed by Cheyenne. So it's mostly just their class. And again, the teacher knows who's causing this problem. She is not happy. So she definitely, it goes from Rosemary being the bully to Cheyenne. And Cheyenne stays that way. So I do not know how long this book is because I had to read it in ebook form, um, unfortunately as well as Stage Fright, and I think the final book, the only other book I have besides New Girl is I have Glitter Girls and the Great Freak Out, which is right after Stage Fright. Um, so that's, I have a physical form. Everything else is going to be in digital, unfortunately. That's all I could get a hold of. And I think I actually had to buy them, um, unfortunately. I try to get things at the library when I can. But that's really the end of this. It's, again, it's, it's a very interesting dynamic. So normally, again, why technically there's boy kind of kissing here. There's nothing romantic going on. The boys are not happy about it. One of them kind of has a crush on Cheyenne, but they're nine. They're, and I'm sure this kind of dynamic periodically will show up in fourth grade classes. I don't remember it going on in mine, but again, I was in a special school for kids with disabilities because um, I was dyslexic. There's a lot of, the only other girls I really interacted with had ADHD um, and we were surrounded by boys. So we weren't really getting into boys until the following year, not until fifth grade. So, and this book does not cover 10 year olds. It goes to, it, it's only six books long. So that is the end of this series, this, not this series, this review. If you like what you see, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go back to the beginning. I have an entire introduction. <laughs> Know that if you're familiar with her channel and just coming back or, and notice the background's changed, yeah, I rearranged this room. Uh, I took the bookshelves out, bookshelves in the master bedroom now, 
because this room is too small. Uh, and I started hanging things up. Even since the last things I, um, the original, the first couple, Ali Finkel, I've since put, I think, the map over here and the witchy picture there um, have been added. And unfortunately, the closet is open. <laughs> and you can see stuff because I've been in and out of there adding stuff to the upper areas. So, again, if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. I will finish the Ali Finkel series. After that, I'm moving on to um, The Wolves of Beyond, which is Catherine Lasky. Um, that is a spinoff series of the Guardians of Gahul, which I did before this, which is huge. The Wolves of Beyond is not, I think it's like three or four books. And then I'm going on to the Polar Bear series, which again is like three or four books. So those are what's coming up um, directly. After that, I'm going to do the three graphic novels of the Animorphs because I can't get a hold of the one. It's a giant series. And two, I can't get a hold of them. They're not popular enough right now to be at my library, um, at least not all of them. And so I don't want to do an incomplete series. So I am covering, they do have the recent um, graphic novels. So I'm going to be doing those three. Then I'm going on to the Anne of Green Gables series where I'm going to do everything, including her short stories in Avonlea. So I'm doing everything Avonlea created, uh, connected, including the four Sullivan films, um, which yes, I did cover the Anne of Green Gables in an hour-long video when I first started this channel. I'm redoing everything. I'm doing everything one by one. Um, along with the three films, which I already talked about, I'm re-talking about those individually. There's a fourth film, and then there's the Road to Avonlea or Avonlea TV series, where there's seven seasons. I'm going to go over those, too. Um, following the giant Avon, uh, and Green, great Anne of Green Gables thing, I'm going to go on to the Boxcar Children, and then we're going to do the Wings of Fire series. I'm going into that line. I know nothing. I seriously don't know. I don't even know that. I haven't even put down the books in order yet on the, but that's going to be the end of next year. So we'll get there. <laughs> we're getting there. Um, this is being filmed in November, or not November. You are seeing this sometime around November. Um, this is being filmed in March of 2020. So that's what you have to look forward to. If you want to look backwards of what I've covered besides the Guardians of Gohul, um, I did two Tamora Pierce series and the Princess Diaries. Those were the series that I covered this year. Before the Princess Diaries, I covered a very dark se book series called The um, Last Apprentice, which is why I ended up doing the Princess Diaries. The Last Apprentice is horror, not my genre. Um, even though it's just for middle schoolers, it's really, really dark and gets very, very gory. Um, <laughs> I covered, uh, if you're a fan of fantasy um, and Tamora Pierce, so far on this channel, I have covered all eight Circle of Magic books plus the um, Will of the Empress. I have not covered Melting Stones or Battle Magic yet. Um, I don't know if I will. I do, in fact, own them. So <laughs> I do own them. Um, but I recently, I have also covered this year, I covered the Song of the Lioness Quartet and the um, Immortals Quartet. I will eventually, um, maybe come 2025, go over Becca, um, which is a prequel, which is a prequel series to an extent, sort of, of The Song of the Lioness, and then I will do the, uh, final series that she has, at least in order, of, which is, which is The Protector of the Small, so I may cover that in 2025, so that will be upcoming. Again, I own them. I am not covering the Daughter of the Lioness. I do not like those books. I do not own those books. I have no interest in those books. Um, and I'm also not covering her more recent stuff because I don't know if she's going to complete the series. So we will we will definitely see what's going on. Once she completes the series, I'll cover them. But until then, they're kind of on the fence. So that is what we've got, along with a variety of things of covering the subjects of African American History Month, Asian American History Month, LGBTQ, vaccines, unicorns, um, music, musicals, mysteries. Um, so a lot of things. And then whatever the heck I have coming in 2024, which is not planned out yet. <laughs> We're working on it. I have ideas. So that is the that is the end of this video. If you like, again, like what you see, like and subscribe, leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.